Welcome to the first ever episode of What's Cooking in Business Central. In this series, the Business Central developers themselves, both internal and external, will present some of the latest product additions shipping with the upcoming major release. Yes, because during the Business Central 2 major release events, a lot of information is being shared and it can sometimes be difficult to spot some of the small improvements that we've made. But with What's Cooking, our developers get to showcase their features right after completion, hopefully sparking some excitement what's about to come your way. Every week, we hope to offer you a glimpse of what's cooking in Business Central. Celebrate the completion of features with us, take them for a spin in our public previews, and let us know what you think about our latest work. Are you ready? Welcome to What's Cooking! cooking. For this first demo, let's look into the edit sales price list in Excel capability, which will ship with Business Central 2025 Wave 1. For this demo, we need to make sure that the feature is enabled. So we go into Feature Management, we find our feature, New Sales Price Experience, and we see that it is enabled. Now let's try out if the feature works. So we go to Sales Price Lists, and we edit our existing a default sales price list and for the sake of this demo let's just say that if you sell more than 10 Athens desks the price will be reduced from 1000 to 800. Verify that the lines are okay. Done. Let's quickly give this a try. Let's go into a sales invoice and um, there we go. Let's add our Athens desk uh, and if we have Eight essence desks, the price is 1000. If we adjust that to 10, we see that it's now discounted to 800. So everything works as it's supposed to, nothing new so far. But now if we go up here, you will see a new button, edit in Excel, which wasn't there previously. Let's click on that. So now it will create our Excel spreadsheet. So it syncs our data from Business Central to Excel. There we have our line and we can find our unit price. Let's just say we reduce it further. We only want to charge 700. So now if we publish these, this price and we go back and we will quickly refresh our browser here, we'll see that the price was updated to 700. So this makes it easier to edit prices. Now this was highly requested on BC Ideas, 151 votes. Uh, and it was also mentioned that this could be an open source contribution on GitHub, that it was open for that. And actually, Stefan Sosic uh, took the opportunity and took on this task, wrote the code that is necessary to enable this feature. And next thing you know, this thing ships with 2025 Wave 1. Thanks for watching.